Hey y'all, welcome back to Sin City Review. Today we're looking at a Wilson Combat 1911, of course chambered in 45 ACP. Uh, if you follow any of my previous videos, you would have seen a quick little preview of this and its other two counterparts. Um, basically, as the story goes, I'll make this as quick as I can. Uh, a little over a year ago from Wilson Combat, they were discontinuing uh, their gunsmith kits for these, and they were clearance for 430 bucks, if you can believe that. You got your frame, you got your sliding, your beaver tail grip safety. Um, of course, everything match fit, drilled out, just ready for you to build whatever you want to. So, as much money as I could spend, I did, and I bought three of them, and it was it was well worth it. Um, even though I'm not really making any money on them, I'm building two for friends and one for myself. Um, still, it was it was awesome that I was able to get that deal. You can get something similar now. Um, you pay a lot more money for it, but you get more as well. If you go to Brown Ales, uh, you can get the same kit I did, uh, which still includes your frame, your slide, and your beaver grip safety. Uh, but you also get 30 lines for front strap checkering. You get your rear side cut already, instead of just being you know smooth to slide and ready for whatever cut you want. It's already cut for the Novaks, which is cool. Uh, you get your barrel and your uh, barrel bushing, so not bad, you know, for the nine hundred dollar price mark they have. But you know, it's it's a little more pricey than I would want to spend for having to be locked into certain things that I might not want. For instance, I like twenty five lines prints on my front strap, not really thirty. But you know, if if it's the way setup you want to do it already, there you go, save some money and build it yourself, as they say. Um, now the previous video, uh, you would have seen this, you would have seen uh, its year one counterpart, I call it. Basically it's year one 1911 with 20th century technology. So it doesn't have the skeletonized hammer, instead it's got a commander. Um, not a spur hammer, but it's got a commander. Um, it's got the GI side cut, it's got a solid trigger, and it doesn't have a uh, mag wheel, of course. So it's kind of like my uh, old school, new school. Uh, this is definitely the new school offering. Um, it has you know all the new school technology you'll find in most you know current 1911s. But we'll just do a little quick little run through. Mainspring housing, 25 lines per inch, Nighthawk Custom. Um, this one's really cool because the magwell comes out. It's a two-piece design. So you pop out the pin, uh, you can basically slide the magwell in, and it stays there. You pop out the pin, remove it, all you have is two little slots in the mainspring housing, which basically kind of look factory like it's, it doesn't even look weird. Um, so if you love that and you want to have the ability to remove it whenever you want to, they do this in both the um, uh, full size and the compact frame through Nighthawk Custom. Um, as far as the beaver tail grip safety goes, like I said, it comes with a gun. It's Wilson Combat. Um, this is the other side, of course, of the safety. So there's the safety pin, if you will. Um, I chamfered it out and blocked it flat. It was actually gonna run along with a the theme that I was doing for um, the slide release. As you can see, it's chamfered, but the gentleman, my friend who uh, I'm doing this gun for, didn't want that to be blocked off. He kind of wanted it to be you know, out so he can basically push the pin through a little bit easier, which that's cool. I mean, it still has kind of a cool theme. It's different. Uh, for the hammer, Nighthawk Custom Skeletonized Hammer, 10A Performance Rear Sights, with that large U-cut to uh, definitely get a nice little picture of that front sight, that Trigicon HD up there. The grips are Gator, well the Gator offerings from VZ anyways. Uh, front strap checkering did by hand, 25 lines per inch to match the uh, mainspring housing. Skeletonized trigger from Nighthawk. The barrel's Nighthawk as well. Up front we got EGW bushing, reverse plug and guide rod. There's the crown on that Nighthawk barrel, all polished up where everything else is black. The front sight, these are my favorite right now, the Trigicon HDs. On the other pistol I did, um, it, this, is, this one's counterpart, it's got the yellow, this one has the orange ring. Pretty cool. 25 lines per inch, it's my favorite. They say, you know, you can go 30 and that kind of designates something that's done by hand rather than a machine because apparently machines can't do what they say. Um, but I just like the way 25 lines per inch feels. It just feels awesome. Of course, the color scheme, Cerakote, Midnight Bronze for the slide and frame, and black for all the controls. This thing just turned out wicked. I love it. It's a beautiful gun. If you're curious about what the third pistol looks like, <laughs> if you watched that previous uh, little review, you'll see it's unfinished. It's just the slide in the frame. That one's mine, so I got plenty of time to work on it and build it however I want. I haven't even decided what I'm going to do with it yet. Who knows? I might even throw a spur hammer back there and no beaver tail. But then again, I did the rear sight cut for the uh, Novak, so shoot. It might have to be a new school offering. Go ahead and pull the slide back real quick for you guys. Got a little break in oil on that barrel.
I'll wipe this thing down real quick. There we go, that's a little bit better. You can see that crown. This looks awesome. But yeah, if you uh, want something built, I'm not going to say it's fast through me whatsoever. With all my other work, it's something that I, I just kind of work on a little bit at a time. But it turned out well. I'm super stoked with the end result. It's much, e much easier to take a pistol that uh, is already built. It's maybe something used that's kind of scratched up or something that's old or just something that you want, you know, built to your specification. Since it already has a cut, since it's already been worked and, you know, sh maybe shot a little bit, it's so much easier to... Uh, Put together and just have it run. Something like this just takes a lot of re reworking, or basically reworking, just breaking in uh, to get the way you want it. A little trigger job as well, just a little bit of take up, and then a super crisp little break. So light, awesome. A little take up, super crisp break. That is one sexy little 1911, I think, anyways. That color scheme, midnight bronze and black, you can't beat that. It never disappoints. And uh, these grips, these are the thin ones through VZ. I really like their thin grips. I mean, the 1911 has just such a thin handle anyways. Just take advantage of it and put some thin grips on it. It just feels awesome. I hate those large bulky ones. It's like, why well, have a single stack? Just get yourself like a pair of double or something. But anyways, y'all, I won't make this video too long, but <laughs> a little bit longer than most because it is something I built, so I'm pretty proud of it. As always, questions, comments, concerns, leave them. I'll answer accordingly. And uh, yeah, I don't know about the near future, but one of these days I'll get to mine and uh, build it up and that'll be my complete uh, vision of what I wanted. This one is more, more of what my buddy wanted for his, and of course you know, as you can see he likes all the new school offerings that 1911s have. Skell's nice trigger, the hammer, of course Magwell and you know the new sights. Uh, I had a little more free reign on my previous, the previous one I did, uh, and as it shows, I mean, it, it's really cool to have something that is almost old school looking, but it has all the newest school technology in it. And uh, that one turned out really well. So uh, yeah, hope y'all enjoyed. Until next time.